Hi guys, today Stirdon for you. This box, it is, uh, I believe, an autopilot for a mill so, uh, helicopter. Soviet brand of uh, helicopters with uh, lots of uh, different models. So we have here one uh, big uh, grey Emerton box mounted, as you can see, on shock absorbers here at the bottom. We have uh, three plugs. We have a mounting plate with two attachment screws to uh, the air aircraft frame. We have this front cover here with uh, an access panel. Model number plate here. It says 6S2399000. Serial number uh, 74, it is probably the year 0588. Okay, so rear side, as you can see, we have uh, four similar modules, exactly the same uh, model number, but the uh, serial numbers are not in a, in a row. You can see more. Uh, Shock absorbers here. We have access panels here on the top. Here is what it looks like to, from the top side. And uh, last, the bottom side, you can see the mounting plate on the frame for the uh, module, four modules here. Okay, now we will have a close-up view at the, at the uh, outside stuff first. So here is for you close-up on the model, uh, on the manufacturer plate with this nine so logo here. There is the same logo on the rear side and it will be uh, more easy to see the logo on the rear side. Excuse me, I was <laughs> busy with the dog. So, you have here the connectors. This one is not used, so there is a cap on it. Here you have the shock absorbers. So it is written on them, model number AD4A. And is are rated for 1.5 to 3 kilograms, it seems. We have here on the side, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, yes, here, the uh, manufacturing date, 77. There is some quality uh, stamp here. Okay. Then now the rear side. So you can see the view on the modules. The model numbers, uh, the serial number plates of the modules with the same nice uh, logo here. You can see the serial number is not, uh, there is a number here, but it is not matching the one uh, on the plate. You can see the screws here, attachment screws have uh, seal, wax seal, except for the, the first one, which I did uh, break to be able to remove the module and uh, have a look inside. Okay, now I will uh, remove the front uh, panel, but first you can, I want something else to show you. Look here at the, on the top. There are four uh, letters for each of the modules. So, it must be for uh, each of the uh, channels of uh, uh, autopilot control. Row, yo, uh, roll, pitch, maybe, and altitude, not sure. Yes, it makes four channels, so maybe it is this. So by the way, it is a completely analog stuff. And as you will, you will see later, it is a one vacuum tube stuff. Okay, excuse me for the camera shaking in the previous uh, seconds. 
Now I will remove this uh, front panel first. And in fact, it will be a pretty quick teardown because uh, since we have uh, seen FB and this panel, we will just uh, need to open one of the modules. And it will be uh, all in fact for this thing. So quite nice uh, electronics in it, but uh, as we, can, we will see, lots of stuff is potted, so we don't see much. Okay, just a few more seconds to remove these screws. If I remember correctly, yes, one last here. Okay, so on the front panel we have this uh, access cover for uh, mat lounge because in fact when you remove it, as you can see, we have a whole bunch of uh, trimmers. So yes, here are the four uh, channels, Apra, Vlenier, Cray, Tangage. Bicota, it is uh, Visota, it is uh, either altitude or speed, I do not remember. Yes, it is altitude. So you can see we have uh, trim pots with uh, locking screws, in fact. So they are not really trim pots, they are pot regular potentiometers. And we have, if I can undo this locking screw, locking screw, so you set it. Uh, when it is correctly set, uh, you tighten the screw because it is uh, completely analog, so there is a lot of uh, fine adjustment probably. On the top here, we have uh, some uh, kite uh, with uh, resistors. And the most interesting are these uh, modules. So I will zoom in for you. Here we are. So we have a bunch of uh, potted modules. They look like the modules I have on my uh, missile uh, zero unit. Completely potted things. There is a bigger one here. As you can see, it has its uh, model number on the side, on side number. You can see here the mounting screw for the uh, shock absorber and the wire harness here some uh, capacitors and stuff here uh, it is interesting we have uh, what seems to be toroidal transformers very small ones and here are the potentiometers it is a nice shot, you can see they are really, really common uh, potentiometers in fact. Nothing special, but nice uh, knobs on the front with uh, two uh, set screws as you can see. Okay, and in fact it is all for this uh, front side. So next uh, we will remove one of the uh, rear modules. So before I close uh, this front cover, one more thing about this uh, Black modules, the way they are attached, there is a metal bracket here and there is a screw all in the middle of the modules. And in fact, they are bolted on the metal bracket. So I think we have PCBs in them, little PCBs with probably uh, transistors and electronics. But uh, without uh, X ray equipment, uh, it, it will be impossible to know anyway. Okay. Okay. So, for uh, removing this module, I just need to remove one screw, like so. It was very easy. 
and the modules drop right off. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, this sub kind of connector with, of course, the matching plug on this uh, side going directly to the wire harness in the device. It is interesting to note this uh, metal frame here, as you can see. Die cast uh, aluminium, it seems, machined and uh, attached to the front uh, plate here with bolts. Very, very nice uh, construction. Okay, now we have to have a look uh, to this module. So I will install the vertical stand camera and we will uh, pop the cover off. Okay, so about this module, we have uh, one uh, access cover here. We can be removed with two screws. We have what seems to be a vent hole here with a protective plate on it. More vent holes on the other uh, side. And so at the bottom, you can see the very nice uh, plate at the bottom here. Black anodized metal. Here is the prisoner screw to attach it in the frame. Connector. It seems we just need to release partially four screws and the cover will go off. This one is a battery cell screw, must be removed completely. And uh, yes, here we are. So the cover is uh, painted with black paint inside, quite interesting. And here is what we have guys, um, as you can see, pretty old school electronics. We have, so here are the armed two vacuum tubes with uh, shielded covers. Will it come off? Yes. Model number six, uh, uh, Cyrillic H, so I believe it is N letter, one Cyrillic P dash E Cyrillic B. So 6N1P-EV probably. That code of 177. And not sure if it will be very easy to see on the camera, but not this factory logo, guys. Yes, it is a small rocket. Quite impressive. I, uh, it is not a, a new logo for me. I, I have it on other parts including on a uh, Lada car part. Okay, so the electronics of the thing, you can see. Excuse me for the noise, it is the dog. We have a bunch of uh, paper oil capacitors. We have uh, transformers, one here, one here, rectifiers. And on this side, it is a little dirty, some very very cute capacitors here on uh, terminal uh, modules, resistors here, one more here, trimmer here, more uh, trimmers here behind this uh, front plate, you can see two trimmers at the bottom. We have this uh, wall unit uh, here it seems can be detached, maybe, not sure, because we have two screws here, which uh, should make it possible to remove, yes, we have one screw, so it is very, very modular construction, this thing here. As opposite to the main frame where uh, everything is attached to the main wiring loom and the potted modules. Here everything is modular. 
threshold turn off yes nice as you can see we have one more connector here so this base plate will just be uh, wiring inside I guess yes just wires so we have this unit goes off as a single unit and we have also this one well I will not remove it because it will not be useful but as you can see it is the same thing we have two long screws attaching it to the frame and we have a connector it seems we have in it um, uh, a few uh, toroidal transformers again there are two uh, toroidal transformers here some little coils attached on the side or precision resistance maybe precision wire wound resistance ok so this thing is really really beautiful this module here as you can see a little dirty because of airflow maybe but apart from this really really nice thing and look how tidy the wiring is inside and here also the very small teflon coated wires as always ok so it will be very easy to put it back together I guess so this kind of construction uh, I have already seen it on the over a top pilot I made a tear down off it was a big round thing there is a video about it I will make a link on the video and uh, there is the same kind of uh, modules so this screw does not want to come back in place so ok I will uh, take care of it and uh, reassemble it so for now, thanks for watching, bye bye.